Hi, and thank you so much for purchasing the Vitalizer Plus. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put this device together, as well as explain some common problems encountered. So first, you want to take the pitcher, the lid, and the spinner with the silicone ring and wash it in a mild detergent. Remember to hand wash these delicate parts. And this right here, this is the mineral cube and you do not want to be using the detergent on this. Simply wash it under some running cold water, that's completely fine. So to begin your setup, just take the spinner and place that flat part down into the mineral cube. And once it's in there, it'll wobble around a bit, you can hear it. And that's completely normal, that's part of the design. Next, take your mineral cube and gently place it inside your pitcher and spin it clockwise until you hear it lock a little bit. You don't want it wiggling around in there. And then simply put the pitcher on top of the base and you want the handle on the right side of the control panel and lock it into place so it's not wobbling around. And once you've done that, you're ready to mix some hexagonal water. The first button is the power button. Press it once and you should see the LED display turn on. The button in the middle is the minute button. So we have three time settings. If you press it once, you get the nine minute cycle. Press it twice, you get the 18 minute cycle. Press it three times for the 27 minute cycle. The longer you vortex your water for, the more energy and oxygen will be put into the water. We'll go with the nine minute setting. And here's the stop and start button. When the time's up, the LED display will show zero and you may pour the water out and enjoy your water. For example, if you want to stop before time's up, simply press the start stop button. Remember to never take the pitcher out while the machine is still running. So how long you vortex the water for is simply a matter of preference. The longer you vortex, the more energy and oxygen will be infused into your water. But we strongly advise that everybody starts at nine minutes to slowly begin to introduce your body to hexagonal water. So let's start with nine minutes. Pour in the water nice and gently. Make sure the lid goes on nice and tight. And press the start button. So the cube is good for 4,020 minutes. When time's up, you're gonna have to change your cube. And I know it's hard to keep track how many minutes you've been vitalizing for, but don't worry, the Vitalizer Plus has a tracker built in. So when it's time to change, your LED display screen will flash CC, which means change cube. At any moment, if you wanna know how long you've been using the Vitalizer Plus for, simply turn on the power button and then press the minute button for two to three seconds. F1 will pop up immediately by the number of hours used. If you press the minute button again for two to three seconds, F2 will pop up immediately by the numbers of minutes used. If you do it one more time, F3 will pop up with a total number of seconds used. Once you've got your new cube, you will need to reset the timer. And to do that, simply press the minute button with the stop and start button at the same time for two to three seconds. CL will appear on the display screen, meaning clear. To maintain your Vitalizer Plus, you'll want to wash the parts regularly. So the lid, spinner, and the pitcher can be washed with soap. But remember, this mineral cube, you do not want to wash it with soap. And to take it out, you simply spin it counterclockwise, just like that. So again, these parts wash with soap. This one with some water, maybe a soft washcloth or a soft sponge, and keep it away from direct sunlight. So you'll want to dump this first batch of water out. It's done solely for the cleaning purposes. But it is normal to have this first batch of water look cloudy and have some small particles in it. Those are particles just from the mineral cube. So feed this water to your plants. And if you're going on vacation, make sure to do this cleaning process again to make sure that your vitalizer is clean before you start drinking your hexagonal water. So now we're going to go over a couple of encountered problems. So the first one is if you put the pitcher on and it doesn't spin. Something like this. There can be a few things wrong. Firstly, your pitcher is probably not seated properly on the base. 
The base has a protruding plastic piece that serves as a lock for the pitcher, so make sure that your pitcher is locked into place, like this. There you go. If that doesn't solve the problem, check whether your spinner is out of place. When you pour water into the pitcher, the spinner might jump out from the inside of this hollow part of the mineral cube. Add water from the side and make sure that the spinner is in the right place before you start vortexing your water. Another possible error could be from the mineral cube. Remember that you have to turn it clockwise to lock it into place. Otherwise, the water will not vortex. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you need more clarification on anything at all, give us an email at support at waterliberty.com. We would happily help you out. Thank you.